less than that. How is it not? I mean, if I did right now, I mean, honestly, if I took my hands up your leg, what would you do? Depends on what's the purpose. Uh, if, if I you're did, up the street to do it, yeah. I, would probably, I would probably say no. But if it's but for me did. to get on a plane, I probably would say, okay, let's get it over with. I don't want to fly. But That's a choice you make. It's you not, but, but still. Uh, I, 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 I don't, again, my, my policy can't be against the law. It can't. Who's law? Your it, law? It can't, no, the law. The law. Again, like I told you, if I create a policy in my business, we're I can kill people. people. You know, and, and if I kill somebody, you put the officer would put me in jail. You know. Director, the report is given, which you kept interfering with his security by asking him questions while he was doing his job. That's what he's reporting upon you. As he said, you kept asking him while he was trying to do his job. That is a interference of security. That is a violation. You cannot have him keep doing his job when he's trying to screen somebody and you bother him. That is an interference. Okay, so, so don't ask, don't ask, don't ask. Not while he's screening somebody or doing his job, no. Okay. He's, a, he's assigned to a position and you're over there asking him all kinds of questions and interrupting him. Okay. That's not, that is absolutely off limits. Gotcha. Because for that, I could go ahead and get a police officer involved, and they'll just escort you out. They don't care why you're doing that, because you're circumventing the process by trying to put someone on the plane, perhaps, gotcha. that you don't want checked. Gotcha. That makes sense. I mean, that, okay. that makes sense. So, yeah, I, so that's why I want to know. That's why they called me, as they said, just bothered me, because they're giving the report. You kept asking, going over, asking questions. You're not even on that flight. So you're circumventing the security okay. procedure there. That, that makes sense. Now, that, that's a different situation. Okay. I want to be a jerk, I can probably yell at that, but I'm not going to be a jerk. You're asking questions because you want to know, but in the same token, you don't want to hear all the answers. But no, I do want to hear the answers. I, I do want to hear all the answers. I really do. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, that's what I said. Just be mindful. There's, there's a line there where you go across. There is. And when you're going and interfering with him doing his job, you're actually circumventing because, well, I'm... Am I about to get in trouble? No, you're not about to get in trouble. <laughs> you are a person of now of interest because you were interfering in the shows on film that you were bothering while they were acting on the job. So what they're probably going to do is they're probably going to check your flight. Whichever one you get on, they're probably going to check your flight. Because they want to know why you're trying to circumvent the screen. I'm not process. trying to circumvent. That's the way it appears on okay, film. Okay, I got it. I've backed up the film. I've got the police. I've got the managers. I've got the officers undercover. They're all coming down to sit and watch you. I'm sorry. They're not going to film. You're on film anyway. Right. They're now going to go ahead and screen your flight. I got it. I'm sorry. So I'm just letting you know what's happening. Thank you. I'm just glad you didn't make me leave. And it used to be random. It's no longer. This flight's now been parked. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what you brought about. So now they are going to pull your ID, or they're going to search your bag and everybody else on the plane. So that's what happened. Oh, goodness. Because so we all have to suffer now, huh? Well, because you actually are on film, and you did, in fact, bother them while they were in the act of doing their duty. Okay. And that's what it says. The question they always ask, and anytime that happens, is why? Who in the hell is he? What's his intent? Gotcha. So now it's no longer random. You're just targeted. Targeted. I've been targeted. Okay. You ask why I do it? That's why. It's because I don't know. I, there's 3.3 3 million people a day in the air. I have no idea what their intent is. Right. But that's why I'm saying, you know, I understand you feel, but be real, real mindful of how you, you have the right to do lots of stuff. This is right. America. Well, uh, thank goodness. But, but just be mindful of what we're trying to do. Right. Be mindful of, you know, it's really supposed to be for your benefit. You don't see it that way. But now we're going to for everybody else's benefit because we still don't know who you are. Right.
and you know, I just want to know why, because yeah, I haven't seen that where they go and, and check your IDs a second time, and then go through your bags a second time, you know, because we've already went through that once, and I was trying to find out why, I was asking the question, you know, I mean, I wasn't being rude, I was asking her why they were doing it. And then, you know, and then the other officer came up, and we talked very nicely. He just said, now, he wasn't going to fill out a, a report, but supposedly it looked like um, I was trying to interfere with their operation, right. um, which I wasn't. I was just asking the question. I mean, you know, why, why is TSA up here asking for people's IDs? I'm like, you've already checked everybody's IDs down there. You know, why do you need to be done a second time? You know, so. And see, th this, is a, th this is a campaign that we have this week. Um, it's called National Opt-Out Day. It's a national campaign um, because TSA has been caught um, sexually assaulting people. Um, and, and basically, what we've on the website it says that you can film them. Okay, it says it very. And as, as I was coming in, they gave me some issue with filming. And I told them on the website it said you can film. And, and and the guy said no, you can't. I said we'll go get a supervisor. The guy downstairs. And I said we'll go get a supervisor. And, and then the guy came over and said, well, I'm sorry. But this is. I have my own business, okay? And if I create a policy, if I create a policy that says I can kill people, or any of my employees can kill people, okay, if I create a policy that says that, the first time one of my employees goes kill somebody, what happens to him? No, no, if I create a policy. Okay, you, you saw me ask the officer, if I create a policy that we can kill people at our place of business, business, the first time somebody kills somebody, what will happen? And the officer being so brainwashed, he says, then that person would be okay then, right? Um, oh my goodness, it, it just shows you how so many people are zombified and, and don't understand what true law is. Hit play. In my company that says you can go kill somebody, dead, okay? Yeah. If somebody goes kill somebody for my, for my business, kills them dead, what happens to them? They're prosecuted oh, yeah. because it's against the law, right? right? Okay, now that I explained it to the zombie, now he understands uh, and, and realizes that, yes, you know, just because I create a policy at my place of employment does not make it law, and it cannot violate the law, and it cannot violate the Constitution, which is exactly what is happening with TSA and their policies at play. So these guys have policies that say they can sexually assault people, okay? When they take their hand and rub it up into your growing area, okay, if I did that to you right now, what would you do to me? Well, it depends. If, if I'm in a public area somewhere where, you know, you can't touch me without permission. Do you know what the Fourth Amendment is? Yes, Unlawful yes. search and seizure. Okay? That, that, that violates the... the, the I think it, uh, it has nothing. And you see, I've asked both these officers, the one police officer, the other TSA agent, you know, if I ran my hand up into their leg, you know, what would they do? And they both of them said it depends. So again, you know, it depends on if you're giving up your freedom. And they don't understand that still, no matter what, it is sexual assault, and you don't have to give up that right. Um, and especially not to fly on an airplane. Uh, there are many different ways that these people um, could could um, protect us uh, via bomb sniffing dogs. You have the wand to wand for metal, uh, but yet they want us to bow down and submit. And that's what all this dog training and submission is all about. Hit play. To do with that, is this more like a security concern? Well, that's you what they tell us. Airport. That's what they tell us. But you have the full body scanners that have been proven to, to, to cause cancer, that they've been proven to damage the DNA of the body. You know, I don't want to go through those things. I mean, that, that's just me personally. So then when I opt out, because I know they're bad for me, then I get sexually assaulted. And, and, and I believe, and, and there's a lot of people out there do, that that is violating the law and going against our Fourth Amendment right. And then they say, well, you can choose not to fly. You know, but, but again, you know, they've got TSA now at the bus stops, um, at the subways. Um, they, they have them on the streets. They haven't seen your prompts. Why? You know, I mean, that just, that they, they tell us about, when you give up liberty for security, you know what happens? You lose both. And, and I think that's wrong, you know, but that's just my opinion, you know, and, and, and we still do live in America, and I can't have that opinion as long as I don't disrupt or, or disorder anybody else, and I've been non disorder to anybody. Okay, I'm sorry. So, uh, are we going to have any problem over here? No, 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 no. I mean, I, I mean, we may have, if they tell me I can't film, you know, can't. I mean, well, what they're telling me is I can't film them doing their procedures, okay, which is not correct. I mean, if they, they're in, this, this is public area now, okay, I can film them whatever they're doing. Right. They're, they're trying to tell me I can't do that because then I'm impeding the procedure. But if I'm standing away filming them, I can do that. But they've got so upset for me filming them. 
Again, here, this is the second officer now that has confirmed that we're perfectly legal in our right to film the TSA agents um, doing what it is they do. Um, the other officer, TSA agent, tried to tell me I couldn't film them because I would be giving away um, their procedures. Uh, but again, that does not matter. We can film anything they're doing out in open view. So hit play. You, you tell me what I can and can't do, and I won't do it. If you tell me what the law is, I, I do, last thing I want to do is break the law and go to jail because I need to get home today. Okay, I, I do. targeted as the TSA told, told, told us and now um, everybody on the plane that I'm about to get on is um, going to be randomly checked of their ID which is no longer random as he said. Um, they're having to check three different flights because I would not give the TSA agent my name because again he did not have a warrant and I had not broken any law. So that's why in my terminal they are now checking everybody's ID uh, because then I guess um, they're with, they are within their policy because they're not um, singling me out and, and, and they're ch going to check everybody's ID. So hit play. Happens here in a minute. Your other stuff. Now we're back to my first question. Why? 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 That's always the question. Why? Why? Okay, th this lady in front of me could not find her ID and she was looking frantically and then she finally found it but you'll see the TSA agent came up and said you know that's why I'm here because if she couldn't find her ID I would have gotten her on the plane okay if she couldn't find her ID he didn't know who she was how is it he's going to just get her on the plane? So, what's the whole point in this? Again, he just said that he would get her on the plane. So again, there is no security here. You know, she could be a terrorist, but he's still going to get her on the plane. That just shows you this is nothing but smoke and mirrors to, again to get us to submit, to get us to bow down to this tyranny. Play. I, I, you're, you're, you're not. But, but again, there's a lot of, of people out there that once they get that badge, okay, you know, I understand that and I appreciate that. I'm not a young kid no more either. Uh, there you go. I just, something has to be done to, 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 to stop these invasive procedures I mean, because it's not right. It is. Yeah, Fourth Amendment all the way through because that's where they give those two rights. That's what caused me all my problems. That's what caused me all my problems. Well, just explain to me I mean, how, wh where in the fine print do I need to read it? But, but again, which one of y'all want mine? You don't want mine? He does. Okay. <laughs> I'm tearing it out. Oh, no, you don't want to 
you're not from this place. Huh? Yes, sir. It's the best place in the world. <laughs> temporary? Of course. I try to make it more difficult, but you'll see. I got temporary? it. I got it three days ago, and it's perfectly legal and tenure. <laughs> you know, I, I try to make this as hard as I can on you guys. Huh? You know, we have a training center I got to go to in. in uh, you're making it hard. I, I always do. I'm the one that did all this. This is why you had to get out your ID. I got a training center. That I Come see. Come in February. Come, look at look at me. Um, SWATS. S W A T S. Team.com. That's the name of my company. And again, we're the most controversial supplement company in the world. You know, and all we try to do is help people. That's what we do. We help people. That's what we do. We help people. Come on down, young man. Oh, you want me on the plane? No. These guys want me out of here, don't you? <laughs> Hey, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I just want people to know that they can film. They can film the TSA guys. And we want people to know that, that they can film them regardless. Um, um, we just had eight TSA agents, um, the police officer, and we did have the TSA people telling me we couldn't film them, um, but then the officer did come over and say it was perfectly legal to film a TSA while they're doing their policies and procedures. So, this will be interesting. Um, know your rights, know the Constitution, and know when you give up liberty for freedom or security, you lose both. What? Um, as you'll see in the next two videos, um, all or both of my, my, my planes were randomly searched. Um, so, I don't know if, if, if because of this I was then singled out. Um, and they towed the other agents or what. Uh, but again, I went through three checkpoints and with a roll of quarters, $10 worth, uh, my keys, my, my, my camera pin, and the metal detectors did not go off. Um, in Dallas, Texas, um, the full body scanners uh, were broken as the officer towed us. Um, so we don't know if, because of what we were doing the National Opt-Out Day, if, if they, um, turn the metal detectors off and tell people the full body scanners were broken or not. So um, again, know your rights. Um, know that it's perfectly legal to film these guys and this will help hold them accountable.